hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to add the global sorter on and design table we will see how we can select the different columns on which we want to sort the data source in ascending or in descending order so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the table component from and design and start using it so I have a separate video on how to use the table component. I will add its link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look. So inside the table we will be using the column props and each column will contain a title. So maybe we can show a data of a person maybe person name and its age and we will add the sorting on those columns. So title name and data index that's again a name and let's copy this one and add another column that we can call age so it will be age save it here you go added two columns name and age so let's add the data source as well for that we can create a state variable uh, you can say data source and uh, let's add few uh, records inside that as well. So maybe we can say name is Amir and uh, let's age uh, maybe in increment of 10, 20 like that. Maybe we can say 20 and add few more records as well. So we can say four or enough Amir code with maybe we can say a code right and we can say 20 it's 30 it's 10 it's maybe 15 right and here uh, we can provide the data source is equal to the data source we have declared uh, as a state if i save it and say your state is not defined let's import it from the react here you go so it has added uh, the two column name and age and added the data source as well so let's add a, a global sorter here we can say above the table uh, inside the div we can say uh, select again from the end design i have a separate video on that as well i will add its link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look how to use the select so inside the select uh, we can say select dot option uh, let's add a, a span over there we can say uh, sort by column and then you will select the, that column here and first column will be name and its value maybe you can say small name and add another option for the second column we can say age and age right and on change uh, we can say create a function we can say const on sorter change is equal to uh, selected sorter and here we can uh, provide that okay and here we can just console it let's say selected sorter save it here you go sort by column and maybe we can add a placeholder here as well we can say select column okay so when i select uh, any of these uh, it should console let's go to the inspect and console and clear it name and then age right it is selecting okay so let's add a, a little styling there we can say style uh, margin bottom maybe 30 pixel okay looks good so let's go ahead and uh, implement this uh, sort change function so here we can say if uh, the selected sorter is equal to equal to name then do something and else if the selected sorter is equal to equal to age 
then do something else right so uh, in the top we can say uh, const uh, sorted data source is by default equal to whatever we have in the data source and in the name uh, we can say sorted data source uh, dot sort it uh, based on the value a and b and here we will be saying that if a dot name is greater than b dot name uh, then return 1 otherwise uh, check it again and then if it is equal to equal to b dot name uh, then return 0 otherwise minus 1 right if it is uh, less than so if it is equal to then 0 if it is less than then minus 1 and if it is greater than then it will return 1 so that is how the sorter works save it so this is for the name and for uh, this age we can do the similar work and let us copy this one and paste it here and uh, for this one instead of uh, checking whatever it is greater than or less than because these are the numbers we can just say if a dot age uh, minus b dot age so it will return a positive number or the minus, uh, negative number or uh, the 0 based on the age so we can do directly that and once uh, we have sorted uh, we can update our data source so we can say set data source uh, the value uh, which we have sorted so it will be set at source sorted data source and if i save it refresh and change the column to age here you go 10 15 20 and 30 if i make the name so a c and w right so right now it is uh, uh, just doing in in the ascending order so name ascending and age is also ascending right so if you want to maybe switch between the ascending and the descending we can add a switch button here uh, so based on that we can uh, sort on this column in ascending order or sort in this column in descending order right so let us add a switch here again from the end design and for the check children we can say ascending and for the unchecked children uh, when it is not checked so in that case we will be saying descending right save it there you go it has shown the switch so let us add a few more styling so let us add a, a little gap between these we can say display is flex and uh, with the gap of maybe 8 pixel is enough and we can add a uh, align items to be center so that it is center aligned save it sorry align uh, items save it here you go okay so uh, next we can uh, keep track of the switch whether it is ascending and, and the descending in the state variable and uh, we can say uh, sort maybe ascending and by default it is true and in the switch you can say default check is equal to uh, sort ascending uh, based on our uh, state variable and also on change uh, we can just say uh, set sort ascending so on change will be giving us uh, the value true or false so we, we are directly setting in into our state right save it here you go by default it's ascending and we can change it right so right now change it it does not affecting because uh, we are not doing anything based on that so let's update our uh, data source accordingly so here we can say uh, before we are populating it uh, we can say updated source is equal to to say if it is sort ascending then it will be whatever is in the data source do that otherwise uh, what uh, in the whatever in the data source uh, do the reverse of that right so in case of ascending we will be showing whatever is in the data source because by default we are uh, 
uh, sorting in ascending order and if it is not in the ascending then we will be showing in the reverse order right. So, if I save it and instead of this data source we will be seeing the updated source right or updated we can say data source copy this one and this here as well save it and refresh so by default it's uh, in the each column ascending and if I do the descending then 30 20 15 it's opposite of that and similarly goes for the name so it's name descending and then name ascending right so this is how we add the global sorter on the end design table columns. We have the selection for the column and we can select whether it should be sorting ascending or in the descending order right. But still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.